and welcome back to the Dreamport channel. Today, we're going to speak with another agent of the Dreamport. He's been with the company for a few months and he has some insights to share, including his income, including the first months, uh, all the struggles that he has been through and why he actually in love with the Dreamport. So please tune in, listen carefully and ask the questions in the comments. We definitely will be there to answer all of them. My pseudo name that uh, Dreamport has given me is Wexford. So I'm uh, 33 years old and uh, I am a senior travel agent here in this company. And it's been very recently that I've uh, moved into this position, probably a month and a half into this. And uh, before that, I was with Amazon for close to around eight years. I was into L&D, mm -hmm. learning and talent development. And uh, prior to, uh, after, after that, I started my own business uh, in 2019 and it's currently running on and uh, yes i do have some time on my hands and that's why uh, that's when i saw this opportunity knocking up on the door and i've taken this up as a learning opportunity in fact something which is exciting the airlines industry and mm -hmm. uh, i think dreamport has given me this opportunity and sales is something that i haven't been uh, you know I, I haven't tried those waters at all so i think yes uh, Dreamport has given me two opportunities, one in the craft industry and airlines industry and uh, sales. You work with Amazon, apparently. I right. mean, like, and then you had your own business. So, like, right. why Dreamport? It's not that we are that well known and everything. So why it caught your eye and why you decided, like, to trust and give it a try? When, when I came across this ad on uh, Instagram and um, it was very intriguing, so I started watching videos especially you um, with a few agents and uh, with Ashton and all of them so it really was surprising and uh, I really wanted to try it I knew it was genuine because uh, of the way that people spoke and uh, I did research and I got to know that it is a part of a big group of Dynano group of companies so I was really intrigued and then um, I'm a person who wants to always learn new things and the airlines industry is something that I always liked. So uh, when given an opportunity, who wouldn't want to take it? So I grabbed this immediately. <laughs> Let's get back to the day when you actually saw the ad. What you imagine it to be like? What was in your head? Like how like how will it go? What will happen? And then tell us like what it actually like apparently uh -huh. like appeared to be like and like compare these two things. Yeah, the ad really said, do you want to earn $2,000 per month? Yeah, uh, that's an average uh, person earns in this company. So that really got me thinking, you know, and uh, I really wanted to give it a try. I know it was true and even only if it is true is when a company can actually sponsor an ad on uh, Instagram. So I wanted to give it a try. I gave it and I, I, but I saw this as a learn, learning opportunity. But when I see that people are actually making such money here on Dreamport and yeah, I think I think you did say an average of 2000. But I see uh, emails floating around in our inboxes where people are earning much more than two thousand uh, dollars per month, you know, and that's big money. And that's big money, at least for uh, people based out of India, you know, for anyone, in fact, yeah. <laughs> I would love to make that money. Um, yes. Yeah, but like, I, I just horrible at sales. So let's get back to the sales. <laughs> um, is it hard? Is it not hard? Tell us about like your first client, your second one, just because like, as I said, like even I would love to make this money, but sales scares me. So tell us a little bit more it about sales. It wasn't easy. Uh, I think it was the first time for me to, I was with Amazon and then I was into customer service and then L&D, so sales wasn't my piece of cake. But again, uh, your training modules, which I went through, the self-directed ones, they were very nice. They were very, I mean, designed very nice and uh, they gave a lot of exposure and then started the actual training with the uh, trainers. They helped me a lot to understand how to actually please a client and how to ensure that they are in the right uh, you know, a uh, place to buy the, buy a ticket. So when you have the support, when you know that these are the tools that you can help a customer with, a client with, I'm sure uh, if you're genuine enough, a client will definitely purchase. That is something that I got to learn, right? And uh, sales, though, yes, yes, it is difficult. And my first sale, it wasn't easy. 
I had to follow up with the client for close to around uh, 14 days and I was ensuring, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I had to call the client for 31 times uh, uh, and, and it wasn't easy. I was trying to match your calendar and some of the principles, especially with Dreamport, uh, one, one which says, uh, keep your promise. And when you promise a client or a customer, you keep your promise. So you, I tell her that I, and she tells me, I need to call her at this particular time I'm on a certain date. I am there. And that really helped. That really helped me to build that rapport with the customer. And finally, she trusted me that I am going to give her the best purchase. And with Dreamport, ASAP tickets, yes, um, I'm really surprised that we do have the best fares across uh, the US, Canada or the UK. Um, compared to other websites and we we definitely live up to that expectation yes con consistency persistency and consistent follow up with the client yes i think that that helped me a lot do you already have a return clients or you still working with like incoming clients uh, like what is the difference like right now maybe like you have more leads per day than you used to like what is the difference like from the first days and like at, at the moment we got graduated on jan 26th of this year so december 23rd is when we started taking calls and uh, these were not fresh leads these were uh, uh, leads taken from um, bqs so that's where uh, you know we it wasn't easy for us we, they, they were not returning clients these clients were uh, probably not satisfied with uh, the prices given earlier and hence they're looking for better prices so it wasn't easy for us to start with uh, making purchases on the bq right so uh, now after the 26th of jan when i got graduated and moved to the senior team uh, of noida in fact uh, we started getting fresh leads and that's when I understood there's a stark difference that if it is a BQ lead, your client needs to understand you well or he or she needs to ensure that, you know, the client is given the best prices, given the best hope that we are going to, what do you, how do you, how, do I, how can I put, put across? So, uh, I mean, yeah, you need to give that assurance to the client. But when it comes to a fresh lead, uh, it is going to be a little easy because the client has already seen uh, uh, um, prices online he knows what um, what what are the prices that he can expect from ASAP applicants and when we do that uh, it's it's going to be a piece of cake for us in fact uh, a client can listen to you uh, they know what what are the prices that we're going to offer and when he or she hears that then yes the sale gets through and it's very easy after that yeah okay so we were uh, talked about the sales um let's talk about um i've heard the thing that if you uh for instance not very good at sales but you're still hard working so you show mm -hmm. up every day you try to make calls you're good at customer service at the dream port they will try mm -hmm. to find you another like position maybe at customer service or something like this it, like have you seen mm -hmm. anything like this is it true that the hard work can people actually get rewarded and like Dreamport still try to find some role that will feed them? I'm the best example for it. I never had a sale. So 26 Jan was my graduation. And until the 23rd, I didn't have a sale. But my mentors and my supervisors, they were very supportive. Uh, they kept relaying the fact that Dreamport doesn't look at uh, a sales conversion. It also looks at the efforts being put by any new hire coming into the organization. So that's something that is really nice. And it was evident enough because there were people who uh, really didn't make a sale. But again, they got graduated, moved to different teams in Dreamport. They were given a chance to prove themselves. And, um, and, and I don't see that every company does this, you know. Um, uh, and, and Dreamport doing this is a really good thing because they're not letting their hopes die. They're giving them a chance. They're uh, still uh, asking them to, you know, prove themselves uh, because they know it is tough. They know it is tough out there uh, when you do not have sales experience, when your communication is not so good. They're going to give you feedback. They're going to brush, you up, brush up your skills, polish your skills continuously. And uh, I think that's what they've been doing so far. Uh, all the supervisor men mentors, I really want to take this opportunity to appreciate what they're doing uh, for us uh, agents to climb up the ladder. 
and i'm sure um, uh, dreamport also looks at this opportunity where if they're not deemed to be fit in sales they will be given an opportunity in customer service yes okay okay so you seems like you actually enjoy uh, the dreamport the like opportunity tell me what actually you like the most and what you do not like the most what are those things okay tough question because something that i like the most i think it's everything uh it's everything because i'm i'm learning there's a lot to learn and uh every day is a surprise for me every day there's something new i see there's something introduced every day uh just a couple of days ago we started uh, getting a course where uh, we 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 are going to accept bookings for hotels as well for clients along with the flight where the flight prices can be reduced to a considerable extent when if the customer is actually looking for a hotel as well now that's something that i don't see in every company you know there's continuous learning right and when there's learning who doesn't like it and it's really nice and apart from that yeah i i loved it here i mean uh, the atmosphere is nice i don't need to uh, you know travel for hours together to go to an office i can just get up get freshen up you know 30 minutes before my login time i can just be here as long as you're working uh, you know uh, your 9 hour shift or your 8 hours 40 hours in a week I'm sure everyone can make that amount of money which is being promised online. That's really something that I appreciate because I see those results coming I, I and it's I see comments on Telegram by other um, users but again um I think when hard work is put in the results are going to just get paid off. Something that I don't like it's going to be very very difficult for me to answer because I don't see anything that I don't like here. Okay, um tell me about a little bit about the shift. What time you actually work? We started off night shift. We were in in a Riga time in fact, 5:30 p.m. Riga time. So, post the shift, uh when we moved into nesting, post the training when we moved into nesting, uh we were in uh, probably I'll give it a better idea in uh, IST. Uh we were in a 7 p.m. IST shift. right and then uh, since you're in nesting probably you need that uh, guidance from your supervisors and mentors and it's highly important that you are in the same shift as your supervisors and mentors so that you can get the guidance you can get the support when you need it and um, post that when i moved into the senior teams uh, we were really given the opportunity the flexibility was there grimes is my supervisor now so he really ensured that we are comfortable uh, that's something very rare uh though he logs in in a different shift uh he gives us that uh, comfort factor where he tells us okay you can log in this particular shift because you're comfortable here uh, as long as you're comfortable he believes that we can bring sales and that's something that is really nice of him you know so we we are given that uh, leniency where we can log in into a shift if a supervisor is comfortable for the blend most of the supervisor i'm sure they're going to support their agents in terms of shift but yeah i recommend that we are we should be based out of the same shift uh out of the us because that's when clients are going to call you you can get to reach out to clients and you can talk to them in fact okay so yeah. let's get back a little bit in the past when you just uh-huh. apply and was going through the application process which is not short it's like you have to register then apparently you have to go right. through the uh assessment then online training then live training like was it confusing uh was you lost meanwhile maybe like sometimes you check like the telegram channel to get found like what happened with you and what was your thought during the process yeah uh, yeah it was uh not confusing there was pretty good guidance every time that uh, i got confused uh or as long as you keep your eyes open you, we have email deals where we can reach out to people for help and support if you if you need it so uh i guess as long as you have the email deals in your notes i guess you can contact them and you're getting responded between 24 to 48 hours but yes there was a time uh, i think it's on last week of november uh there was a server issue and uh, because of which uh, there was a technical glitch and uh, though we cleared the training uh, we were notified that uh, we you did not clear it so but again everything was fixed within a day or two 
that's really something which is appreciated and uh, people got back to me informing me that there was a technical glitch and uh, it really takes a lot of courage to for someone to accept their own mistake and dreamport did that which i which i really appreciated right and they corrected things immediately and yeah it was not confusing but yeah i think uh, patience is the key there once you uh, clear your online training probably you need to wait for a couple of days or more, probably four days when applications keep you know getting logged in um, throughout and when there's a, a surplus amount of applications received people need to show that patience to ensure that you know it does take time for them to get back to you as long as you have that i'm sure nothing is going to be confusing okay so let's talk about your uh day to day again um even mm-hmm. there with the training i believe you cannot learn everything about travel i mean all the airports true. all the lines all the like uh, ins and outs now hotels and cars that's true so like how is it happening like how are you learning along the way is it hard like maybe like you guys again like having like additional trainings like what is happening to actually get more knowledge The most important training that we received is the tool training and how to handle clients and uh, the software aspects of the training is actually given to us. The main training begins when you're in nesting. So that's when you start taking your calls, that's when you know that you can uh, have access hands-on experience on a tool that you haven't actually explored. So you're going to take time. And uh, what happened in nesting was um the training team and the nesting supervisors and mentors both hamish and uh, zakabak they were uh, taking us through multiple trainings initially we were getting so cheesed off as to why there were so many trainings in a day it is just just 8 hours a day that we get to spend time to learn something and 4 um, hours was training or 5 hours was training but then we really didn't understand in the beginning as to why they were taking 4 to 5 hours to just train us on uh principles or the tools again and again but re- that really helped you know many people though they didn't understand in the first one week they understood the importance of that in the second week hence you know and that really helped you know uh now you ask me a question blindly i can definitely help you navigate th- through the tool without having access to it and that's how they prepared us and i really appreciate that almost all the ba- all the members in the batch were subject to the same thing and they know it they, they know the tool in setup when we started handling calls things were very new we uh, come across cases which we were not taught in training but again at the same time uh, you have your uh, supervisors with you you can reach out to them you have uh, a chat option uh, where you can reach out to them immediately you have experts to contact to if your supervisor is not there you have smes to contact to if there are so many channels i don't think no one is need to no one needs to be scared of you know and uh, the response is instant and they're not going to take time the response is instant probably a minute or two otherwise you have all the answers any which ways so it, it is a very confident thing and anything that you don't know you can always go back to your training modules learn and then come back and implement it again okay let's ask the burning question how much money you actually <laughs> make and like the first month the second okay so i think um the month of jan uh, i was able to make around uh, $955 gp um but again uh, second month uh, right now this month hasn't finished yet and i was already able to make around uh, $2957 gp so yes yeah. <laughs> i'm currently placed there and the month is still yet to end yeah for the long term what's your goal like like how do you see yourself with the dream board i want to grow in this company um I've been with uh, b- before before Amazon I was with uh, Symantec I was there for a couple of years and with Amazon I was there for 7 uh, years 8 years here with Dreamport with the kind of work culture that we have I don't see any reason uh, why I should quit this company and go as long as Dreamport is giving me an opportunity I'll take that opportunity I want to grow in this company I want to grow along with this company I can see um if there's anywhere that i can actually implement my learnings that i had throughout my career i'll be happy to do so if there's an opportunity given to me so if you ask me are you going to leave us no i'm not going to 
uh, I'm going to stick to <laughs> stick with this company as long as there. So, what about like other? Do you have like other team members? Do you guys chat? How is the communication between the colleagues happening? <laughs> yes, we do have uh, our batch is close to around 35 people, and uh, uh, our supervisors were saying that this is the biggest batch that we have so far had in the year. So, unfortunately, people have dropped. They were not patient enough. But again, a uh, uh, lot, lot many stick by. I think uh, towards the end of graduation, we were around uh, 18 people left in the team. All of them are still there. We still chat on um, the Google chat option that we have through Dreamport. And apart from that, yeah, we do have we do exchange numbers. We ask them how it's going every day, and we have learnings from each other. Um, at least once a day, we try to connect to see what they learned. If there's anything new that they learned, is if there's anything new that I learned, I'll be able to share it with them. So yeah, as said, it's continuous learning, and yeah, uh, people are really, really nice here. Uh, we were able to connect with um, uh, you know uh, people outside India. Uh, we were trying to understand the cultures. They're trying to understand our cultures. It is actually helping us, you know, um, where people from Lagos, people from Nigeria, they tell us, uh, you know, this is what probably our, our customers when um, people from Lagos and Nigeria expect. And when they tell us these facts, we make notes of these facts. And when actually we get to talk to clients who want to book their tickets and when we cross reference these facts, it's really helping us in sales. And that's really, really nice. And uh, not everyone gets this gets this opportunity to, in fact, bring the whole world together on a platform. And Dreamport is doing that. That is awesome, actually. Okay, uh, now I want to be part of your team. Uh, okay, I don't have any more questions. You actually told us everything. Thank you so much for your time. And like, it's so good to see a happy face. Please stay happy. This is it for the sessions. Please look out for our further interviews on this channel in the next episodes. Don't forget, in order to apply to the Dreamport, all the links in the description section. And remember, we do not hold any interviews. The whole process is fully automated. After you register on our website and only on our website, uh, you have to log into our platform, proceed with the assessment test, and then to the training. Everything is happening online. You have to follow the instructions. We do not call all the applicants or contact them. Please be careful. Thank you and see you in the next episode.